So here it is, my first attempt at stand-up comedy. The footage quality is terrible, but my friend was very kind to film me anyway. So thanks to her. And uh, this is my face. Remember this face, because in a minute it's going to be eclipsed by light. So enjoy that if you can. I as well. I think. I'm going to sit on this so I can maybe lean. Um, so yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, I'm on a stage now. I, I can't believe how bright these lights are today. You should all try it later. But uh, yeah, so for this to go well, it's important for you guys to like me. Uh, um, and it's, it's my hope. Uh, to love me. <laughs> no, but just don't hate me, please. Uh, no, but w why should you like me? Um, uh, well, I'm a liberal. Uh, <laughs> I'm rational. I believe in equality and egalitarianism in general. Um, and I'm a self-aggrandizing, pretentious wanker. <laughs> um, so that seems to have worked. Uh, a bit of self-deprecation there to sort of bring me down to your level. <laughs> I'm joking, but I mean that should go without saying in this context. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this being on stage thing is bizarre really. Because it's, like it's like I've literally been given a platform uh, and uh, it's extra bizarre because what they, what the organisers don't know is that I'm an awful bigot. It's like the, uh, it's sort of like the Sermon on the Mount. <laughs> and I had to look this up obviously, well maybe not obviously, but anyway. The Book of Matthew. <laughs> Chapters 5 to 7. <laughs> Jesus, he saw that there was a crowd, much like this. He went about halfway up the mountain um, and he started to teach to the crowd. <laughs> uh, he started to teach. And, um, and I'm not saying I'm Jesus. <laughs> but <laughs> we, we do have uh, a lot in common. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, we're both white. <laughs> uh, he was from the Middle East, which is weird. <laughs> my hair used to be a lot longer. Um, we're both attention seeking. Uh, so we have a lot in common. Um, but at, while we're on the topic of religion. I mean, I brought the topic up, so it's a ridiculous thing to say. That's a, that's a poor link. But anyway, um, one of my friends told me not to do this joke, but I'm going to do it anyway. Bear Grylls, the TV survival expert Bear Grylls, has also professed his deep faith. And uh, he said that he thought that his religion was the basis for his life and his success. Um, and therefore he obviously must believe in an afterlife, presumably of eternal bliss uh, with God, I don't know how that works, but in heaven. Um, and, but why therefore is he trying so hard to survive all the time? <laughs> Done and drank the liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Just dying. <laughs> 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 Scientifically, this is also ridiculous. I mean, we've covered religion, that's done. Scientifically, <laughs> we are we're nothing. We're, we are on a planet going around a star that we call our sun, of 100 billion stars in our galaxy, and there are 100 billion galaxies. 
Uh, so what does that make us? I mean, it's like, we're nothing, we're basically nothing. We're, close to, we're as close to nothing as that makes sense to be. Um, we're almost like parasites uh, riding on the back of an ant. Uh, and, oh look, one of the parasites <laughs> doing a show for the other parasite. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> That's so great. Anyway, yeah. I don't know if she came out already, but anyway, thanks. Yeah.